Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video, I'm going to check the TBS Source Micro 2.5 inch frame. Just like the TBS Source 2 and Source 1, the Source Micro is an open source project, which means that all the project files can be found online and this frame was designed by the community. In addition, just like the Source 2 and Source 1, the Source Micro comes with a really low price tag and it costs only $11, which makes it probably one of the cheapest frames that you can currently buy. Inside the bag, you can find the top and bottom plates, eight spacers, and you're only going to need to use four of them and they give you the option to choose between two sizes. The length of the shorter one is 20 millimeters and the length of the longer one is 25 millimeters. In addition, you're also getting eight M2 screws and this 3D printed TPU part, which will enable you to mount a TBS Tiny camera. So if you're going to opt in to mount a different camera than the TBS Tiny, you will need to think of a different solution because currently this is the only file which is available on Thingiverse. So what I recommend to do if you want to mount a nano camera, for example, is to use these 3D printed adapters, which you can either print or buy them online. The thickness of the top plate is 2.5 millimeters and you can find these two inserts which will enable you to mount the battery on the top of the quadcopter and you can also find this hole over here for the VTX antenna. The thickness of the bottom plate is 2.5 millimeters as well and you can find both 16 by 16 and 20 by 20 mounting holes for mounting your stack. In addition, the frame supports 11 OX motors and you can use up to 2.5 inch propellers. The total weight of the frame when it's assembled using the shorter spacers is 17.72 grams, so it's pretty light. I don't think it's going to withstand a very big crash because it seems that the carbon is going to break. And I recommend that if you're going to opt in for getting this frame, which costs only $11 as I mentioned before, to get another extra frame. And as far as I can tell, these frames also sell pretty quickly. So you don't want to have a broken build. So getting two frames and have one extra aside is a pretty good idea. The distance between the spacers is 17.8 millimeters and it can fit up to micro sized F3 cameras inside. But I think it's probably going to be a better idea to opt in for using a nano sized camera or to go with the TBS tiny camera. And then it can simply use the included adapter. In terms of stacks, good options would be either the iFlight Success Mini or Micro Size Stacks. And as far as I can tell, you'll be able to fit them inside, even if you're going to opt in for using the shorter spacers. So overall, priced at $11, you're getting a pretty good value for your money. And I actually doubt that TBS are even making any profit when they're selling this frame. Of course, it's not the perfect one. And you're also going to have a little bit hard time if you're going to use a different camera than the TBS Tiny. But if you want to keep your costs low, I think that this frame will be a pretty good option. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this frame, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.